Over the next few days, you may hear about a sizable asteroid that is going to come near to the Earth. This is a visual demonstration of how close it is going to get. On the night of November 8, 2011, the minor planet or asteroid 2005, YU55, is going to pass closer to the Earth than the average distance of the Moon from the Earth. So I wanted to give some idea of how close this is. If we take this globe, a good representation of the Earth, then this ball is a good representation of the size of the Moon relative to the size of the Earth. And if we're going to put them relative to each other, how far apart they are in space, the relative distance of the Earth and the Moon is about like this, and the closest this asteroid is going to get to us is about right here. So it's a pretty wide mist as far as the size of the Earth and the moon go, and I can't even represent the size of the asteroid, it would be about the size of a bacterium. Now this is still a pretty close miss as far as astronomical terms go, but because of being able to track this orbit and knowing the positions of the sun, the planets, their satellites, for as long as we can go with Newtonian mechanics, we know this asteroid is not going to hit us anytime in the next hundred years. With more data from this asteroid, we can extend our knowledge of its position in the solar system well past the 100-year mark. If you are an amateur astronomer, it would be a good use of your ability to record the passage of this asteroid. This is especially true for those in the Western Hemisphere who can mark its position in the sky as it passes closest to the Earth. In the next video in this series, I will discuss how to track and photograph 2005 YU-55. Let's hope for clear skies.